<laughs> hey, I'm sitting here with Hank Parker Jr. We're in New York, and we have been killing some big smallmouth. Got him? It's a toad. A toad. It's an absolute football. This thing. The <laughs> football. What you got? Daily Kay? triple. Triple. The daily triple. How about that? Come on. Come on. That's a quadruple because Dad's got one. Uh huh. Dad don't count. Dad. Wait, and Keith's got one. Keith <laughs> don't count. Hold up. I'm going to tell you one thing. I do never, ever put fish on my carpet. That is the nastiest thing you can do. And now you got blood all over my carpet, boy. I got it, I got it. Let go, let go. Cade, me and you going to have a fight. Man, they've been wearing the smallmouth out. This has been a very special trip. So we're sitting here and uh, we're going into our rewind series and I wasn't even sure which rewind it was, <laughs> but uh, it is a blooper. So we're gonna continue to make bloopers as we look <laughs> at the rewind of the blooper show. What do you think of that? <laughs> a little look, memory lane, huh? <laughs> memory lane. Oh, oh, what a clown. It's a hard look back at that stuff. It is so hard to look back. That's outtake number one. <laughs> <laughs> right, you bet, anytime. You are tuned up fishing there, because I mean, you're just hey, flicking that good. in there. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Uh, take four. You ready? Yeah. Hey, we got a fun show today. We're going to go down there. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yes, are the viewers ready? Yeah. You ready? Stand by. Action. We got a fun show for you today. We got some pretty neat fishing tips coming up. We're gonna go down to Arbuckle Wilderness and check in on my good friend Jerry Hagee. And then a little later in the show, we got some bloopers or some outtakes from some of our earlier shows. It'll be a lot of fun. Gotta <laughs> yeah, miss that. <laughs> you looked at the sky, can you just get aggravated? Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, can I just go ahead and watch the open? One, two. You remember that? Sure do. I think we quit that open about 25 years ago. Oh, it's been, that's crazy. It just seems like, I mean, I remember that truck. I remember that boat. That's cool. That was 1986. That's crazy. Hi, this is Hank. Sorry I missed your call. Leave me your name and your number and I'll get back to you. He's gone fishing. <laughs> this is Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine, featuring the first sportsman to win both the Bassmasters Classic and the title Bass Angler of the Year, Hank Parker. <laughs> <laughs> Times have changed. He doesn't like us talking. He is moving on. There he goes. Yeah. Now, Hank, when we when we slip up on him and his tail <laughs> starts to arch, that means he's excited. <laughs> oh man, you old deal gonna let me not excited. Yeah. And let's let's be a little careful because we don't know whether he's going to run away or to us. Well, and we want him to go the other way. I promise <laughs> you I won't charge him. All right, let's go. Easy. <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> Look really back in there. Yeah. To be there. Okay, Hank, let me get this glove off so I can feel this trigger finger and we'll just slip along if we can stay on this road maybe we won't spook him yeah, and uh you think there's any chance when you shoot him he's going to charge us well yes there's that remote chance but we're going to try to get reasonably close to a shot here and we'll keep these trees between us now i'll have to shoot between these trees and hold it just a minute we don't want to spook him we want him to feel comfortable and watch that tail. See him looking at us now? Well, you bear in mind, I'm the star of the show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I really am. I, I remember what is expendable and what is not. <laughs> this one. Oh. 
You got him in the flames. There you are. Can I see that arch tail that I'm talking about? Right. Now, he's excited. Ten four. he's hit, and right now we've got a big bull red deer chasing him. But yes, he's hit, and stand by. We'll be out to move him in a minute. Check your time. It should be seven minutes from now. <laughs> we wanted to do a magazine format. That's what yeah. this was all about. Yeah. So we thought if we would throw <laughs> some wildlife into it, and yeah. this Jerry had Arbuckle Wilderness, and they had all these animals. And so that's what we're doing. And today he's darting that buffalo for research. <laughs> I like watching paint dry. Well, well, life was a lot slower back then. It was a lot slower. TV was a lot slower. a lot slower. And still ahead. Some of this season's fallops, boots, You were ready to get to the water. You were ready to get out of that pen. Crazy. Ryan, this Look is the that. only lure to catch that. fish on this lake. I got here for mine, not to That's let you fish Lander, it. That's a wild ender, isn't it? That's a 6 ring. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Don't lose it. The only place this lure is going is down a big old hog's throat. Uh-oh. Do I go on it, Ryan? I'm going to show you why oh, you I need to try to pull the tree down. It's up to 20% anyway. stronger. It's the line the tournament pros use, and it's the line that set 400 world records in just 12 months. <laughs> At last, the ultimate in fish finding technology, Humminbird's LCR liquid crystal. That's what you've got on your back now, right? That bridges the gap between flashers and charts, combining oh, the best man. features of both. Now the most advanced Ooh. concepts in solar. The most are advanced the of the, the time, boys. Computer innovations to bring boaters and fishermen more features and more fish finding versatility than any other depth sounder on the market. LCR, <laughs> the creation of a new generation <laughs> from Humminbird. That's crazy. How about that? Mm. We had two whole commercials sold there. Oh, yeah, that was the top technology job, in the country. Betty boy. Uh, <laughs> How in the world are we going to get him up that hill and put him in the trailer? Well, you remember I said we're using two tranquilizing agents? We're going to antidote him, and with that, he'll come up on his feet. And he'll be alive enough and wide awake enough that we can lead him up to that trailer and hope pull him through that thing. Well, when you get an antidote, that's why I'm going to get back in the truck. I probably want to <laughs> join you if I can. <laughs> So let's give it a try. Okay, guys, bring the antidote. That's your antidote? Yeah, this is the antidote that we'll be using on him. And we'll, uh, we'll <laughs> give him a try. Thank you. You want me to pull that trailer down a little more, Danny? Easy now. Easy. Okay, let's go. Pull him up, pull him up. Easy. Keep him out of those trees. God. Come on back, Jim. We'll get him in there and his neck will get caught. Hold it just a minute. Right, He's like a smallmouth and pull <laughs> right to Look at this thing. He don't want to get in that trailer. He don't want to in that trailer. Oh, boy. Got him in there. Hey, you a regular okay, old cowboy. Let's get that rope off his head. Woo! <laughs> That's more fun than catching a 10 pound large one. I want you to understand. <laughs> you might have been lying on that one. Hey, in the trailer, get those rolls. Yeah, down. okay, hold on. Yeah. Take a picture of him with your cell phone. Well, what do you think about he that? He gets man? pretty in. I've fish, it's hard to get in the net before, but I haven't been back like that. Well, yeah. if he knew where he was going, Hank, he wouldn't give us a bit of promise. <laughs> He's, He's going to give us a girlfriend. That's right. right. He's going to be our new herd bull. Like that. We let him go. There he goes. There comes those other buffalo down to him. Yeah, they're coming right down to him now. The buffalo smell each other. They're getting together there. Oh, no question about it. You know, they were downwind. Look at that thing. He's he's nearly twice as big as those cows in that herd. You're about five years away from where that would feel like a cow's gone. <laughs> sure, like that. Oh, there we go. I really enjoyed it. My friend was good. <laughs> Oh. Coming up with our blooper segment, I know you're going to find this hard to believe, but that's not the only mistake that I've made this year. So stay tuned. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. And it stinks. And what am I, you want me to say? That's <laughs> <laughs> uh. mm. <I'm> crazy. <laughs> crazy, isn't it? The jig pig. And the 
plastic worm. You know, it's two of the most popular baits on the market today. Right, there's probably a hundred different plastic worms and jigs available, but two of my favorite are man's auger tail, a worm that swims in the middle, the flipping waggler, a plastic worm that has more action on the fall than any bait I've ever used, and Stanley's tri-colored jig trail with man's auger fall. Probably the deadliest big fish combination available. Now, I've put these lures together. <laughs> I like the smile or <laughs> to make them available to you on a Hank Parker Outdoor Magazine special offer. Let me show you what I put together. The Benwick 20 has an amber lid that is see-through. You have adjustable dividers and positive drawdown latches to making the box waterproof. We have two 20 packs of man's flipping wagglers, two 20 packs of FS-454 coated auto I remember that, mm -hmm. FS-454. Two Stanley jigs, one with a magnum flipping hook, the other with a lightweight casting hook for light line use, and a pack of auger frog trailers. My favorite trailer. This is the finest fishing bay I know of. This is a fine fishing value for anywhere. Yeah. What if we called that number right now? I could get that for 1995 right now. Order yours today. You should have thrown it. You should have thrown in there, buy one now. That's and pitiful. How three. did I ever make it? <laughs> I, I We've been up for 38 man. years. That's on the South Fork right there going yeah, into the I can't believe you saw that and recognized that. You know, I, you're going to find this hard to believe. But that's not the only bad cast or mistake that I've made this year. Coming up next, coming up now are our bloopers. Coming up now are the bloopers. Coming up now are some of our bloopers. Right. <laughs> Same tree again. I can't believe it. You know, never I don't get hung up at eyes. Real That's life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a mistake that I've made this year. I like it, Rod and Real. You know, it's not the only bad cast or mistake that I've made this year. There's quite a few outtakes, as you're going to see, coming up right now. Oh, you nailed it. Why? Is that what you wanted, Doctor? <laughs> Your barber. Oh, man. Here's Hank and his son doing first the show. shows to his very first TV show. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for joining me today. We had a great time bass great. fishing. And I amazing. really had a super time with my special guest today. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. Who cut my hair? My goodness. I totally blew it. I don't, I don't know why I don't have a train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> you been sitting there. Why not you barber, buddy? Now what we're trying to do, we're just trying to throw things up. So you watch your bombers now. Watch your, I just want you to watch your bombers. That's all I want you to do. Hey, let me give you a tip on brim fishing. I found that brim are just like bass. They relate to shallow water cover. They work on the shady side of the structure. And I think that when you make a presentation, if you'll drop it right next to the structure on the shady side, you'll find that it's more productive for you. And I blew the whole thing, and I don't know why I did it, but I did, and that's the end of it. Let me give you a tip on brim fishing. First show ever. Brim are just like bass. They relate to shallow water structure. They're on the shady side of the cover. And I think when you're fishing and have the opportunity to go with your kids, if you find if you drop it in on the shady side of the log, <laughs> you'll find that it's more productive for you. Look at my face and big old glasses. I look rough. I want to jump in the lake. Oh, nice. Come on, baby. I'll I'll do that. Here's Hank's I'm not ever obedient canine companion. Hi, look what you made me do. <laughs> Sit, don't shake off on me. Sit. Sit. Don't you shake off. <laughs> Night the Wonder Dog. That's good. You think I had some bloopers? <laughs> Here's a few for my friend Jerry Hagee over at our Buckle Wilderness. Oh, I bet he's got some good ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shutting him out. Thanks. First of all, just look at his I think outfit. I had some bloopers. That's Let's go and check in on Jerry Hagee over at our Buckle Wilderness. <laughs> Let's see some of his laugh. Son of a cop. <laughs> he got the blue caught up in the pits. <laughs> what about you? You think I had some bloopers? Let's go over to our bucket of wilderness and look at him. Look like at your hat's a blooper. Look at that thing. Yeah. Jerry Flintdale like calls it a hover. Okay. <laughs> that's a hat. That's a hover. You think I had some bloopers? You ought to check in on. Stand <laughs> on. <laughs> You think I had some bloopers? Let's go check in on Jerry Hagee and see some of his less fortunate moments. Yeah. Yeah. 
Megan Zone. Yeah. Yeah. Megan Zone. For the duck. You said Megan Zone. What are we talking about? What's the problem? We're going to have fun today. What are we going to do? We're going to bring it big. Excuse me. We're going to bring that herd bull in for his hair. Bring him over to his hair. That's the thing. Try one more time. That stands a great American heritage. The American bison. Today we're here at Stinks. I lost it. I tell you, it's going to be an exciting show. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Uh, it ought to be fun trying to put a big bull, a uh, buffalo. <laughs> Wait a minute, I got it. There went a great American hair. <laughs> Folks, you just missed it. I could not. So <laughs> don't go away. <laughs> that ain't always right easy. Oh, Lord. I remember those days. Mm. I love like these old commercials. Oh, there are three ways you can try moving closer to these fish. No, the gas outboard. Oh, yeah. With and a then noisy electric. Yeah, they're talking about it being weedless. Or with a quiet Minkota electric. Look how much prettier the fish are, isn't it? Do a fisherman. The choice is black and white. Oh, that's good. Minkota. Glenn Lowe's. The think. quiet power that catches fish. At Ranger, people are important. People like Garland Hurst and Randy Hopper that have helped build every boat. That kind of experience is hard to beat. Because we fish, we listen to our friends who own Ranger boats. Their ideas frequently are the best ones. Most of our boats are still being used, and we've been building them over 15 years. That Ranger quality goes into each boat we build, one boat at a time. What a man. Let's go. Where are you fishing there? Can't tell you, I'm a sacred ball. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Hank Parker's Outdoor Magazine will continue in a moment. South Fork River. Hey, I've really enjoyed putting this show together for you this year. I hope you've enjoyed it half as much as I have. But you know, there's one thing that I enjoy even more than fishing and hunting, and that's spending time in the outdoors with my family. So let me encourage you to spend time with your family and enjoy the outdoors. Until next season, God bless you. I'm Hank Parker. Chris, I'd like to say hello to my mother, my brother, my nephew, and my niece, the lady next door. Who was that? Mike Reynolds. Ah. <laughs> Can you believe I did? Yeah, I see now. As you see today, we've we've rescued a few animals, we've fed them, we've put out fresh, uh, fresh uh, grass. <laughs> nope. Yeah. <laughs> Can you splice in on something like that and take it? If we just broke it into a George Bush <laughs> act, do you think that's who it was? Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? It wouldn't be pretty. Put out fresh what? What in the devil's fresh it would put out? <laughs> so it's very simple to match up your rod and reel. Uh, and then put your line, put the right balance line, and I don't know why I got off on all that, but I lost what I was doing. Yeah, it was fine. It was real good. Matter of fact, it was so darn good. I'm going to Hollywood next week. Are you ready, my man? Stand the camera, man. Slow down, Hank. Don't force it in. You ready? You know, the outdoors is a big part of my life. And I enjoy spending the time outdoors with <laughs> Bill Anderson. Spending the time outdoors. He directs our show. And Bill wears t-shirts. Oh. Let me encourage you as the year goes on for you to take your family and enjoy some of the great outdoors. Spend some time with your kids. Take them fishing. Take them in the outdoors. Go bicycle ride. Do anything. Look <laughs> at that one I want. It'll drive you crazy. <laughs> What an idiot. Uh, yeah.
office. Can you believe you made it 38 years? That's pretty crazy. Oh, dumb as Now that people say, why don't you do bloopers like Bill dance? <laughs> Bill's funny, I'm just crazy. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's just funny to look That's back That's a little on. painful to watch, <laughs> <laughs> A little painful. Uh, that was good. All right, let's move right on. <laughs> rewind. We need to rewind that one from the top. <laughs> mm. It's hard to believe just looking at all the stuff, how, how much everything's changed from the truck to your boat, how slow everything was. You are darting a buffalo for 20 solid minutes. Yeah, I know. So what in the world? I know. Our show had, I don't remember how many edits, like, 150 edits, you know. Yeah. Now we got 600 or so, yeah. you know, and it still ain't fast enough. Well, I'm sitting here about to go to sleep watching this. Now I know why people went to sleep <laughs> watching my show. But uh, this rewind deal is a lot of fun, and you got to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can watch everyone. We'll notify you when they come on. So hit like and subscribe. I appreciate you <laughs> enduring <laughs> this painful moment. Thanks for being with us.